Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger have made unbelievable decisions in their business life, and one of those great decisions was Seize Candies. And we're going to get into all of why and how Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger ended up buying Seize Candies in this video. But before we get to that, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more. This is how Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger have acquired Seize Candies. So this is way back in the 1970s. The Seize Corporation, the, the people that, who owned Seize, wanted to get out of the business. So Warren Buffett, the billionaire CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, had made countless successful investments, of course, before this. So what Buffett was initially reluctant to invest in C's, but as he more, you know, as he researched the company a lot more, he realized that the value of the intangibles far exceeded the numbers on paper. He ended up purchasing C's for $25 million. However, now that's not the end of the story. According to what Charlie Munger said, the grandson, I believe, of C's candies was actually trying to back out of the deal. And in fact, according to Charlie Munger and what he said himself, the grandson of, you know, the the owners of Seize Candies, he was actually more interested in grapes and girls than chocolates, which is one of the funniest quotes that I've ever heard Charlie Munger say. And what Charlie Munger ended up doing, because the grandson was about to back out of the deal, then Charlie Munger had to go in and he himself had to convince the grandson this this you know the owner of seized candies that grapes and girls were better than the companies of you know seized candies so that's the reason why warren buffett and charlie munger were able to buy seized candies to begin with it's because the grandson was about to back out of the deal charlie munger ended up going into the negotiating table you know for an hour long just grilled him about how grapes and and women were better than chocolates uh you know to be on his side and for him to get the company of course in C's candies and charlie munger of course i'm sure had that huge number of 25 million dollars laid out on the table for C's candies, you know, uh, the successors. I'm sure that $25 million, of course, adjusted to inflation is way more than that now. But, you know, at the time, even tw even right now, $25 million is a heck of a lot of money for a candy company that, you know, was not the best and it, and it could have been a lot better. And of course, Warren Buffett, as I'm sure you know, it's his favorite investment of all time in, you know, C's candies. For him to turn that into, I believe now they, yeah, they pull in about $500 million every single year. And now you may think, well, compared to Berkshire Hathaway's other investments, that Seize Candies is very small. It's a very small investment, but, you know, every single investor, I would, I'm sure, has one of their favorite investments or their favorite investment altogether. And Warren Buffett's is Seize Candies. Going back even further, Buffett recognized the value of a company with a long-term competitive advantage in a stable industry, even if it didn't come with rapid organic growth. In 1982, he did reject a $125 million offer for Seize Candies, and this, of course, turned out to be an extremely intelligent move as Seize Candies, of course, pulls in $500 million every single year. So with its steady growth, the company has provided Berkshire Hathaway with an income of over $2 billion, representing a remarkable return of well over 8,000% or over 160% per year. Now, Seize Candies serves as a prototype dream company for Buffett as it embodies his investment philosophy of investing in a business with a long-term competitive advantage, reliable cash flows, and a customer-centric approach that follows quality over quantity. The company has weathered the storms of history from the Great Depression to the pandemic, and its customers remain extremely loyal to the company. Now, if you ever had Seize Candies, you would know they taste absolutely phenomenal and you know this is a company 
that pretty much no matter what, it will weather a storm. I mean, this is a company that has weathered the Great Depression. It is weathered like, you know, as, as I just mentioned, the pandemic. This is a company that will not go under any time soon. I really do find it so interesting that Charlie Munger had to go in and negotiate because the grandson was about to pull out of the deal. And, you know, the grandson, unfortunately, was not smart enough to realize the value of his company, of Seize Candies. But luckily for Warren Buffett, and luckily for Charlie Munger, they were able to pull off a fantastic deal that, to this day, is making a ton of cash for Berkshire Hathaway and its investors is because we provide so much amazing content just like this, talking about the stock market, finance, and all of that. And we try to make every single video that will be relevant 100 years from now as it is relevant right now today. Thanks so much once again for checking out this video of Income Views. Remember to subscribe. If you can't subscribe, I cannot continue making videos just like this one for you. Also remember to click the like button and also comment as to what you think of this video and what else you would like to see in terms of personal finance, Warren Buffett content, and so much more because we cover it all on this channel. Thank you so much for watching everybody and I will see See you in the next video.